The right of an individual is the most fundamental of all human rights. However, various jurisdictions recognize permissible limitation to this universal right. In Nigeria, such permissible limitation includes the imposition of a death penalty as it is provided for in Section 33, Subsection 1 of the Constitution. Although the death penalty remains constitutional valid in Nigeria, there have been several debates on its retention or its abolition. But the recent pronouncement by the Lagos State Government that it might likely execute inmates on death row has come under scrutiny by the Human Rights Law Service and the Legal Defense and Assistance Project. For them, the death penalty is contrary to the very essence of the notions of human dignity and liberty, while statistics have shown that it has no deterrent whatsoever. Until you are able, you have a police force that has the capacity to apprehend suspects arraign them and then you have a court system that has the capacity to effectively try people and convict them. That is when you can begin to talk about the issue of death penalty. All the states in the southeast have imposed the death penalty for kidnapping. How many people have been convicted for kidnapping? Why do we want to eliminate these convicts instead of trying to integrate them or trying to rehabilitate them back to the society? So, LIDAP has always been campaigning against the death penalty. We stand against it, no matter the person, no matter the circumstances. We, what we actually pleading is that death penalty, those who are being sentenced to death, they should be, the ten sentence should be committed to life imprisonment or term of years. They also believe that the likely executions would amount to the violation of a subsistent judgment delivered by a Lagos High Court, which declared that it was illegal and unconstitutional to execute the condemned inmates. For Lagos State to want to defy a subsisting decision of the Lagos State High Court, I also find that very strange. With our level of development and sophistication, I think that we need to begin to rethink that practice. Most countries in Europe have abolished the death penalty and their crime rate is still better than ours. When you look at Section 34, which says that everyone is entitled to respect of the dignity of his person, those two provisions are inconsistent for me. That is our stand. And we know that the position of the law is where two provisions are inconsistent. When two provisions of the law are inconsistent, the later section will, sup will supersede the former section. Whether or not the state government goes ahead with the planned executions, the debate for and against the death penalty will remain in the public domain for a very long time, given the fact that it is still recognized by the constitution. Babajideli, STV News, Lagos.